Hello, my name is Ashley McNeil and I'm the Registered Manager of Grove House. Grove House is gated short break provision for children and young people with a range of disabilities and additional needs. We provide short breaks for children from the age of 6 up until their 18th birthday and this allows us to give many parents and carers a very much needed break from their caring role. Whilst that is the focus of our provision here, we really want to ensure that our children and young people get the most from what we can offer and most importantly that they enjoy their stays. We strive to ensure that we have the best relationships with our children and young people and with their parents and carers and essentially that is at the heart of everything that we do here. This has been shown even more so during Covid when we have ensured that we have provided a provision to those who need us the most. Um, Ethan has been coming to Grove House for about seven years now. Um, came from about the age of seven, so it'll be seven, eight years ago. Um, and hopefully he can stay a bit longer. <laughs> Ethan had, he wasn't born disabled. He had meningitis when he was four which has left him with these disabilities. Uh, quadriplegia, he can't walk, he can't talk. Um, so basically, he needs full-time support 24-7. Ethan absolutely loves Grove House. Um, it's, it's very much a home from home. It's um, modelled to his needs, um, which is brilliant. The staff are wonderful. He loves the kids. He loves the staff. Um, just it's it, it's so comforting to know that he's in a safe environment. Um, but they they all know his little quirks and basically how to look after him. Absolutely. Um, as I say, he he loves being around the other children. Um, they know which specialised areas he needs to develop in and can help that um, link in with the schools so they know what he's um, doing from school and try to continue a little bit of that into here which is great for his continual learning process. Grove House is our lifeline. Um, obviously, with these complex needs, he he is a full time, as I say, twenty four seven um, care. So to have respite, to have this facility, is absolutely brilliant because um, it's really really difficult. Um, you just you just don't get a break where Grove House gives you that little bit of break so you can uh, get get what you need, get your strength back, catch up on a few bits and pieces that you've never really been able to do. Ethan's been coming throughout the pandemic. I've never had any queries because um, I knew it would be safe and if there was any worries that they would get straight back on to me and say, you know, um, do you want them still to come? Um, it's been a great support because I've had to, I can't work either. Um, and it's it's just really kept his sort of um, continuing support going, which has been vital for him because obviously schools had to knock back um, what days he's going there. So to know that he still can have that little bit of connection and normality in his life has been an absolute godsend. Thomas has been accessing Gove House. This is his seventh year now. 
um, yeah, since he was 10 years old. Thomas comes here because mostly at home he's challenging in behaviour. Um, he needs 24-7 care in all areas really. Um, help with activities, help with his personal care needs, eating, drinking, um, but mostly, you know, his behaviour can be challenging so that's why he started accessing Grove House. Thomas absolutely loves Grove House. He, um, he loves coming here, gets dead excited, getting out of the bus. Um, uh, it, yeah, he's always happy coming here. He keeps the stuff on the toe, shall we say. Absolutely. He, um, he needs help with his communication um, and definitely his independence skills. So since he's been coming to Grove House, there's been a great improvement in those areas. Yeah, um, it's a huge support. It helps with keep a positive relationship with Thomas. It gives with a respite that we need um, and it enables what to do things with Will, which is his brother. Um, but yeah, most of all, it, it helps with keep that positive relationship with Thomas. It gives with that space away from each other. So before COVID, our family was already at crisis point with Thomas and his behaviour. Um, and then COVID hit. So if it wasn't for Grove House helping to still support the family and stay open, um, I'm not sure where we'll be. It's scary to even think about it. Um, Thomas's routine changed. He no longer had school, his activities, his after school clubs. Um, so even though he can be challenged in behaviour, this become even worse during the pandemic. Um, so it was essential that Grove House still was there for us. Um, we've, we've managed to scrape through COVID because of it um, and they've been very supportive. They've kept to as many stays as what they could. They always make sure that Thomas is in with the right um, children that bring out the best in each other and that's good for Thomas um, and it, it's just helped keep him at a manageable level um, uh, so yeah uh, absolutely vital service through Covid. Um, since Thomas has been supporting Grove House I've realised how important it is to actually support Grove House myself so I put myself forward to become chair of the charity and the charity was set up called Friends of Grove House and that's to try and help support them to enhance the, the lives of the children that come here. Um, so, you know, we, we do various fundraising at, uh, events which we currently raised money for to replace a minibus that was unfortunately taken away from Grove House. Um, so we managed to get that back for them um, and now um, at the moment the, the new kind of fundraising ideas is to try and enhance the garden of the children who stay here because it is really important that they, that they have a quality of life while staying here so access into the outdoors and, um, and a lot of the outdoors is inaccessible for children like in wheelchairs, so we are currently trying to raise funds to get paths and things made and a summer house um, because it's just although Grove House supports us, I think sometimes it's a little bit nice to give back. Um, so yeah, that's why the charity was set up and um, long may continue to help support. Um, when he was eight, so that's about six, six and a half years ago, thereabouts. Um, where he's, he, he used to walk and he went off his feet, so he's a, a wheelchair user. 
uh, is completely non-verbal and he can't do anything for himself. The, the most he'll do for himself is hold his bottle to have a drink. Occasionally he'll finger feed, but not very often, so he needs help with absolutely everything, every part of his day. Yes, definitely. He comes back absolutely shattered. Um, but I bring him in and as soon as he comes out of the wheelchair, he recognises, uh, sorry, the car, he recognises the surroundings and a big smile on his face, except at the minute when he's a teenager and he's just grumping about everything. Definitely Grove House are always involved with reviews at school and they bring back from school things that we're trying to reinforce like the way he's fed, school will tap a spoon on his plate so he knows that he's got food coming and he can open his mouth ready and that's come back to Grove House as well and, and that's just part of it. There's a lot of things that they're doing that reinforce what's happening at school and there's also OT involvement to make sure everybody's on the same page. It means that I can sleep. Um, I don't sleep while he's at home very well because as soon as he makes a noise, I wonder what's going on. Um, even when he doesn't make a noise, I hear the noises that he makes and I get up and see. Um, it means that he's 14 and he's five foot eight and he's a big lump. So doing everything for him when he's here, it means that I don't have to be doing that and that is priceless. He didn't initially, um, first lockdown, we kept him at home, we didn't send him to school. Um, which at the time it was the right thing, but that impacted on me because we also didn't have carers in, so I was doing everything for him. It impacted on him and his socialisation and just getting a bit of different input from different people. Um, and coming to Grove House, he's in a safe space with people that he regards as family, as do we. It's an extension of our family, him being here. And the way he's cared for, he's cared for by family, which means that they all are invested in him and they take such good care of him. All the risk assessments have been done, all the procedures are being followed. I have no qualms about him coming. I like the garden and the sensory room and the staff and everything. Bob's going out to Saltwell Park to get feathers. They do art and crafts and on the iPad most of the time. At this point I'm just becoming addicted. I don't really need help with that like many stuff but I do like, need a bit like support and like my like mental health and like just everything like that and like my eating. I do need help with tights sometimes and I need help with getting up because I can't be bothered to most of the time. Yeah, being able to see my friends during Covid. 